What's up, YouTube? Guess what we're gonna be dipping today? We're dipping this. Where's the one we can process? Pretty good. Bought them the other day. I was watching some mud jug videos. Mud jug one videos or whatever. Owner Mud Jugs, I was watching his videos the other day and he said that these patches actually help in the mouth. Usually when I got when I get raw, when I get raw and start spilling the paper, I try to do some other spots, but then when my whole mouth gets raw, I'm like, what am I gonna do? So I saw the video and he's actually doing things on pouches. They actually do help. They help a lot. Got my hat right here. Get it straight with my grizzly can right there. Now I took and cut this off with a pair of daggum metal scissors that you cut tin with. I actually did that with it. Now for y'all that don't know me, my you this is I think my third YouTube video. All my other ones that I made was two of them was old videos they was from pitching when I first tried pitching was actually got down with it and actually could throw a curveball and there ain't no sound to it because it's old in the day I'm gonna be doing a video on the grizzly and telling y'all about the mint and what package y'all should buy when your mouth is sore I prefer if you ain't got a lot. If you ain't got a lot of money, I go with Grizzly. Pouches, whatever flavor you like, and get it. They, of course, it's like rope to me. Mm, it's got a less one of any flavor. Now, if you got some, if you got, if you like, you got a little bit of money and I want to buy your Copenhagen flavor, I want to buy your Skull flavor. I got Skull mint pouches. I only took like two or three pouches out of them and chewed it. And I'm going to show y'all my pipe. I actually made that about a month ago. Glazed it. It's a little smoke straw through here. Can't smoke out of it because it's got glaze on there. It'll glaze a key when it smokes up. You Hell it into your lungs. Sorry, I ain't got a mud jug. I gotta buy one. I didn't even know they had a mud jug until I started looking on video and watching a couple YouTube videos and all that. So I'm probably gonna get me one in probably a couple weeks. So y'all see me dip one mud jug. I wanna get the Confederate one before get. And those more things that I'm gonna be talking about. I'm talking about we talking about what how things have changed from the old days to the new days to today. And one thing I'm gonna talk about right now in this video is cars. How cars have changed over the years. But here's how they change. Cars nowadays we got Pay thirty thousand dollars for a car, you have it for one month, bam. Transmission out go to the mechanic and ask how much does a transmission cost? Thirty five hundred dollars. What? Bam. That hurt your heart. Some parts on your car actually nowadays can cost half as much as you, you pay for the car. The old days you let's say days you pay $2,500 for a Camaro, Mustang or something, any kind of muscle car, and then motors was built to last. I mean, there's people now that had cars back then and they still got them. And they're still in running condition, perfectly fine. Some of them are trashed up and all that. But you got to say, man, they made it 50 years. That's a pretty damn good car. Because most people got now, they buy the car and then they it's ruined in like five years and got to buy another one. My pops had his truck in 2000 
in the morning all the way to now. And this is F-150, which is a good truck and all that. But now I'm going to talk about my hat. Get her straight. I got that from the Deer Fest down here in Georgia. Yeah, they have every year, they have rafflings for guns, all that. So, anytime y'all want to come, y'all can come. It's just, it just comes once a year. Ain't much to it. I mean, they got food, deer meat, you name it, they got it. They got guns, you can buy guns. They got raffling for guns and got gun shows, looking for deer and all that. I'm actually gonna be doing some baseball videos and some and some hunting videos and all that good stuff. I'm gonna be doing some more different views. And that's what that's about what I'm gonna be doing. Now one more thing I see people doing. I see people sucking on their lip with the dip in there too much. See dip is like a fine cigar. You don't waste a fine cigar. You smoke it, you enjoy the flavor. Dip is like that. You don't dip because you like it. You don't dip because you just... Well, you dip because you like it, but you don't dip because you want all my friends to do it. It's fun. It's cool. It makes you look like a red nigga. Uh, put hair on your chest. And the bad thing about it is when these boys is doing it, I got more hair on my balls than they do on that whole body. Scratch that. You don't need no bad. Anyway. This is my room. It's not much. It's just a little trailer. We got about got five acres and all that, but can't say nothing. There's a bunch of people out there that ain't got houses, but I like to give a big shout out to the troops. My Uncle Adam, he's in the Air Force. He's going for a um, medivac or whatever over there. Find a find a chopper. And I hope y'all pray for him because we're praying for him right now. But that's, I'm going to give some big shout outs to all the military people because it don't, so just like Mud Jug One on his YouTube channel said, we don't got enough people to support the troops. And we need to get Obama's ass out of there so we can bring the damn troops back. I ain't racist. I love black people. I got black people in my family. Yeah, I'm a hillbilly. Yeah, I support the rebel flag. Hell, I even got a rebel knife up there holding up my phone. Uh, can't change who people are. Yeah, I'm sure you can't change Obama. If I was, I'm not looking for one, so. We out. That's it. <clears throat>